Ongoing severe thunderstorms to our west right now. You see all of that rain that is all out ahead of the cold front that's going to move into our area tomorrow night. So we are expecting one round in the morning and it's likely going to be this complex of thunderstorms moving into eastern Texas, moving from west to east through the area. And at this rate, it will likely get here around sunrise, give or take a couple of hours. So that is why we have this level one risk for severe weather for our western parishes and then even into southwest Mississippi because of these storms moving in potentially prior to sunrise. And so main concern will be damaging wind even with these storms tonight. Can't rule out a brief spin up tornado, but the bulk of us will get the rain after sunrise. So I'll show you in just a minute, but you see it's quiet out there. We have more clouds in place and we could have some areas of patchy fog before the storms arrive. So through the night temperatures will only be in the 60s and you see how storm chances really ramp up after six o'clock in the morning. And so tomorrow, even with breaks, in the rain will likely warm up once again into the 70s. So we're looking at the two rounds, as I mentioned. Model guidance is still going back and forth with this first round moving in. Is it going to be 4 a.m. or is it going to be 7 a.m.? They're now diverging from agreeing on that and then showing a earlier start with the, the second round of thunderstorms. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute, but we're still looking at that level one risk for severe weather tomorrow damaging wind, heavy rain, large hail, and a brief spin up tornado will all be possible. But the heavy rain is our main concern and it's going to be more so because the low lying areas, the areas that are prone to flooding are going to be the most vulnerable spots. But the highest rain totals will likely be near the coast and to the west of us. And you can see one to two plus. That means some spots could pick up more than that. So let me break the storm threats down for you just to just so you can see how it ranks. So damaging winds and then hail, that's going to be more so the secondary risk and then flash flooding, localized flash flooding. Not all too concerned about tornadoes, but there's still that chance one could spin up uh, one or two. So the latest run, the HRRR model, again, just completely different from what it was showing just an hour ago, shows that storm complex currently moving over Texas, racing to the east and by about sunrise maybe even a little earlier, but the difference between the runs before and even the difference between our in-house model, it's showing a wetter afternoon. That is a possibility, but it also shows a later arrival of the cold front. So I still think we'll have a lull in activity before that second round arrives with the cold front, but all in all still looks to be morning, maybe late afternoon and then through the evening hours. But the good news is we're dry into our Saturday and then even into Sunday, only about a 10% chance for rain. So if you're going to the spring game on Saturday in Death Valley, it's going to be very nice. And that is at 1 p.m. Temperatures should be in the mid 70s and we'll have a comfy breeze out of the north and low humidity sticks around through the weekend, but storm chances ramp right back up 